Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shadyside Library. Happy old school April. Yep, I, I gave in and I am participating. I know I'm a, a little bit late, and I'll be honest, I'm not really gonna follow the rules per se, but I, I'm at least going to create a TBR. I didn't join a team or anything, and I probably won't really watch any, like, movies or TV shows or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not really into that. So, I've just got a ton of old school books, and I'm gonna show them to you guys. But it has a little theme going. So the theme I kind of created for myself is all these books pretty much all of them are going to be from series or like, I don't know, just groups of books that I've never read before. So that way I can go and make separate videos on them and share them with you guys. A good example would be Fright Time. I have never read a Fright Time book, but it's a giant like 36 book series from, I want to say the 90s. I... Yeah... I don't even know. And There's not even a date in here. We're gonna assume it's from the 90s. But I know this is vintage old school, since this is old school April. Anyways, uh, so yeah, start it out. Fright Time. Three short stories and yeah, this is number six in the series. You got Night Creatures, Who Am I, and Cemetery School. Sounds pretty interesting. I've got a big stack here, so I'm gonna kind of try to fly through these. All right, next up is going to be uh, book one in the Creepover series. So this is actually not really vintage, so it's not old school, but it takes the old school theme of like being a Goosebumps knockoff and I'll count that. It's got a creepy cover and yeah, that that counts for me. And just for those who are wondering, it's from 2011, which I think is okay. It still it still fits the the vibe. Now, this one yes, this one fits perfectly. So like I had mentioned before, I've never read a Creepover book. It's like a 22 book series. I've also never read a Are You Afraid of the Dark book. I know, kind of sad, right? Never watched an episode of the TV series either, right? Kind of bad. That's probably because I grew up in the early 2000s. So yeah, la la la. Anyways, yeah, really excited to get to this one. People love these and I can't wait to finally read one. So yeah, that's Are You Afraid of the Dark? I don't know if these are numbered, but this one is The Tale of the Sinister Statues, and it's by John Peel. I think John Peel, I don't know, that name sounds familiar for some reason, so. Yes, next up, uh, another book one, and that's book one of the Shivers series. I've never read a Shivers book. And I've read, like, tons and tons of Goosebumps and, you know, other knockoffs. But, like, this is, like, the number one Goosebumps knockoff. And I've never read one. So, yeah, you'll hear my thoughts on the Shivers book once I give it a read. And I promise you not everything here is middle grade. I do have some YA and I think, yeah, I have an adult novel, too. So, next up, I'm just going to mix it up here. Uh, another book one, but I've never read from this series before, and that is Nancy Drew on Campus. Nancy Drew goes to college, and I am really intrigued to see what she gets into. I don't know, this is, I think, from the 80s, but... No, never mind. It's from 95, but yeah, 
just another Nancy Drew spinoff that I've never read from. I've read a lot of the Nancy Drew Files and the Nancy Drew Original series and Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys Super Mysteries, but I've never read one of these. So this is going to be on my list. And you guys are definitely going to hear my thoughts on it. And that's, of course, if I get to it. I'm kind of loading myself down, but give myself good choices because I hate TBRs. I'm a mood reader, so at least this gives me a big stack of books to be like, what am I in the mood for? But of course, I'm going to look at this stack of like 12 books and be like, I'm in the mood for that one over there. I don't know. It's just classic. All right. This one, a lot, I've seen a lot on a lot of people's TBRs because it, it fits like one of the prompts, I think. I, I don't have the prompts, I'm, I'm very sorry. But um, um, this is a Bone Chillers book. And it's actually, again, number one in the series. And it takes place at a shopping mall, it looks like. It, well, it's called Beware of the Shopping Mall. But, yep, never read a Bone Chillers book. And this is a pretty big series. That was actually pretty popular in uh, the 90s, along with other Goosebumps knockoffs. But this was like shivers. I mean, it, it did pretty well. So, yes, going to give Bone Chillers a whirl and see what that's all about. Let's get some more YA in here. How about some Horror High? I have one of these books, but you might see some more in a book haul coming up. So, we're going to assume I only have one, but this one's called Hard Rock. So, I don't know, rock on. But yeah, this is a vintage YA horror published by Harper, and yeah, I, I can't wait to get to it because I've never read one before. And those are pretty rare and hard to find. Just like this series as well. This is the Ghost World series. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first entry. I was looking at the inside. And it gives a list of, like, I don't know, the, the four books in the series or whatever. There might be more than four books. But this said it's from 1991. So definitely old. Okay, trash truck. Anyways, um, Ghost World. Can't wait to give it a whirl and give you guys my thoughts on this YA horror-ish sci-fi series. I don't know. But all that matters is it's old school, okay? Because it's April and that's all you're allowed to read. Okay. Um, this is really interesting. So... I found this at a half price books in the US, and that is Amy McCaw's Mina and the Undead. So if I'm not mistaken, she self-published this book and she lives in the UK and just released the third book in the series. But this is book one and I am so glad I found a used copy. I just think it's wild that I found a self-published book by an author in the UK who's a YouTuber and I just found it at a used bookstore so that's really cool uh, it's it's definitely a, a thicker book though and obviously it's not vintage it it gives off that vintage VHS tape style though which is really cool so it fits the vibe but um, yeah, I want to try to get to this one, but it is almost 300 pages, but it's YA, so maybe I'll be able to get to it. If I'm tired of reading all these middle grade books, that'll be a good one to sink my teeth into. Now, this one's going to throw you guys off because it's really, really old school. And that's because it is from, let's see, don't rip the pages, 1968. And that is StarQuest. D 
Dean Koontz's first book he ever wrote. And this is an ace double. So, if you flip the book over, there's another book. So, there's two books here, and they're just half and half. And, I don't know, this book is only like 130 pages. But it is an adult sci-fi novel. Dean Koontz wrote quite a bit of sci-fi before he dabbled in thrillers and horror and stuff like that. So, yeah, I am lucky to own this. These are, or this book in particular is really kind of sought after. I mean, it's definitely not in the best shape, but yeah, I would like to get to Dean Koontz's first ever novel he wrote. So, yeah, if I have time, I will, uh, Give you guys my thoughts on Dean Koon's first book, StarQuest. Kind of cool. All right. A couple more here. Oh, yeah. So if you guys keep up on my channel, you know I recently read Phone Calls by R.L. Stein, his romance novel. Uh, it's more of a humor novel. Well, this is the other humor YA novel that he had, and I had to order this one after reading phone calls, but that's how I broke up with Ernie. And I couldn't even get my hands on a paperback. I had to, I had to buy a hardback. It was the cheapest thing on eBay, but I, I, I think I paid like eight bucks free shipping, so I, I wasn't mad about it. I just want to give it a read because it's all humor, and Arl Stein's humor is cheesy as heck. So yeah, this is perfect for old school April, and it is from the 90s for sure. Let's see exactly what year it's from. That would be 1990. So that predates Goosebumps, but not Fear Street. Okay, getting down to the last few here. This, so, obviously you guys know I've read a lot of Sweet Valley and love it, but I've never read a Sweet Valley Junior High. I've read Sweet Valley University, Sweet Valley High, Sweet Valley Twins, but not Sweet Valley Junior High. And I do have book number one. I don't even know if you can see that. I do have book number one in the series. It's called Get Real. So I'm not even sure what grade or age the girls are in this one, but yeah, I'm gonna give uh, Sweet Valley Junior High a shot. So stay posted for my thoughts on that one. And finally, uh, this is what I'm currently reading, and I I, it really doesn't count for anything. My only thing is it's the sequel to a old school book. So Dr. Sleep is a sequel to The Shining, which is vintage book from the 70s. This one is from the 2000s. I think it's 2013. But... I don't know. I just happened to be reading it. I didn't even start it in April. I started it in March, so uh, whatever. Yeah, I do need to get through this one, though, because I've got a lot of other books I want to get to. But yeah, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for me to post a lot of videos and review a lot of these series that I've never read before and show off my collections. So like when I read the Bone Chillers book, I'll tell you what I thought about the book and then I'll show you all my Bone Chillers books because believe it or not I own a bunch of them even though I haven't read any of them. That's just kind of how collectors work. We buy in bulk and then we read them very very slowly. I don't know it's just whatever. Anyways happy old school April. I'm just happy to be participating and uh, don't scold me for not following the prompts or not watching anything or yeah, I don't know. I just kind of put my own twist on it, but 
I'm just happy to have made a TBR and be participating and yeah, I'm gonna buy some merch as well. So hopefully you'll see me in Old School April shirt soon, but tie-dye goosebumps gonna do for now. And this hat I just found and I don't even know, let's assume it's from the 90s. Enough babbling, that's my TBR for April. Let's see what I can get through. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.